Faith can move mountain. Radio Maria 91.3 FM. The voice of truth. Hello, darling. Good, amazing listeners of Radio Maria 91.3 FM. Abuja, the voice of truth. We are glad that you're here with us again today on the program Testimony Time. What do we do here? This is where we share the mercies of the Lord, the grace of God, the intervention of God. And also, we let you know the beautiful, wonderful things that God is doing for us. And we don't fail to remind you how beautiful and awesome it is to have a lovely, warm, cordial, intimate relationship with Jesus. And not forgetting the person of the Holy Spirit as well. So, how has been your work with Christ? I hope it has been wonderful. It has been exciting. Were you present in the Lord's presence today? Were you able to gain something? And always know that the building, which is the place that we go to congregate, to hear the man of God or the woman of God talk about God to us, is not the only place where you hear about the word of God. You as a person, you are a beauty. So if you listen very well, there is that God that is in you. First John 4, 4, uh, the spirit of God that speaks to you. So even when you are outside the beauty, still take it that you are in the presence of God. Because if not, we can just go, and that is why sometimes when we go to that beauty, we congregate. The moment, the moment we step out of that building and we encounter some kind of presence and the traffic lights and they do like this, we go raise our five fingers. We know what with the uh, we know what with the column. I don't want to use that word. <laughs> we will just do them like this. Oh, I, I will quickly grab ourselves. And other times, you know, somebody just does something and you just look and you know, after that throwing of that ring, just hold yourself back. So when you are conscious that that's you, not the first building, before that other building, you learn how to be conscious of the presence of the Holy Spirit all the time and now do you know that you are the only person that can tell exactly what god has been doing for you because anybody that is going to help tell your story must know it the way you know it and there is no way the person can know it exactly the way you know it so this is why we enjoy you to tell your story share what jesus christ is doing for you don't be ashamed because if you were not ashamed to ask you should be ashamed to say, this is what the Lord did for me. And on this program, remember, you can participate fully by calling in. So by the time you want to call in, please do us the honors of turning down the volume of your radio set. You can call in and request for prayers as well as share your testimony. And do remember that this program is recorded and uploaded on the YouTube channel weekly so subscribe to the radio maria 91.3 fm abuja youtube channel and follow us as well our presence in social media facebook instagram twitter not just following us but tweet let us know how this program has impacted on you if i say now the first person to comment on any of our programs right we get something in short i think that should be it. dear listeners if you're there I've noticed that none of you have commented in the videos that you've been watching. The first person that we post a comment and share the video, we will know if you share though, and share the video, we get something. And this is a very big and huge surprise. Radio Maria 91.3 FM YouTube channel. All right. So now, today is a special day for. Yes, the fathers. <laughs> Today is a special day for the fathers. Beautiful, wonderful people. Yeah, and we say to the lovely, wonderful fathers out there that have been doing amazing job. People, those when they change pampas, you know, there are fathers that have been changing pampas that do school runs, those who cook for their wives, not just because they are pregnant, those who open doors for their wives, not because they don't, they bad. <laughs> <laughs> These are many more. And those who are not doing these things yet, we are encouraging you. We know that you will do well and do better. So 
happy Father's Day to all of you. And to the amazing women also, before uh, they go meet us for Gacy, uh, can you imagine? We're not the ones mm -hmm. that are the next. Oh, we celebrate, celebrate women. 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 Mother, men. But well, you know, women <laughs> always want to be celebrated. Before they will say, ah, she be the celebrated now. Yeah, go chop celebration. What do, do you want to do now? I celebrate the woman. How can you go carry a woman from the father's house <laughs> and then change her name, change her everything, move her to your house, and you will not celebrate that? Okay, so as you yes. celebrate the men, you celebrate the women. You cannot even finish celebrating men without celebrating women. All right, dear listeners, you credit all. Testimony time on Radio Mara 91.3 FM. We're still here, and the guests we have in the studio today. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know that most of you know what that means. So, whether you are in morning, where you are, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, please, this is the time where we bend our heads, open our heart to the working power of the Holy Spirit as we take the opening prayer. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Lord and our God, we thank you again for another amazing day. On this day, all we ask is your impartation and the life of those who are listening to us and would listen or watch this program afterwards. Those who need that touch of salvation, Father, let there be a clear testimony of an encounter with Christ today in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Those who need to be delivered from so many sins, those who are going through the fire that is not a purification of, of the Holy Spirit, let your waters that quenches every fire remove that in the name of Jesus. Those who are bound down that are held with chains, with shackles, we say let those shackles be broken in the name of Jesus. Those who are riding on a turbulent sea, ah, begin to walk on that sea and let that sea be still. Because in the past, God will part the sea, but now he has given you that power to walk upon the sea. So now you walk upon that sea and get to your destination without fear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we know that beyond this, you will reach out to everyone that is showing concern about his or her situation. And you will bring them out of it. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Son, Amen. and Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah, brothers and sisters, you're most welcome to the testimony time on Radio 91.3 FM, Radio Maria, 91.3 FM, Abuja. My name is Brother Nandi Obiechina, and with me in the studio, my name is Christian Obiechina, and Jane Abodoya. don't forget, Abodoya. Abodoya. don't important. forget, we have in our, in our midst a very special child of God, an instrument the Lord has used in several ways. His name is Evangelizer, Brother Theophilus Ame. Man of God, you're welcome. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Dear friends, remember, the topic says Revelation 12, 11. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimonies. We encourage you to bring up your testimonies as part of your salvation experience. In fact, it's important that you share the testimonies of what the Lord is doing. One of the primary assignments of every Christian is to preach the gospel. And then preaching the gospel, when you're able to share what God has done for you, then you, you, you are doing that work very, very well. When Jesus delivered the, the man in, in, in Gadara, and then the man wanted to follow Jesus, just said, no, go back and preach, go, and go back to your people and tell them. And then that man went to about how many cities, 11 or is it, is it 11 or 13 cities of that environment, proclaiming the gospel. The man they knew as a madman, breaking chains, was the one who carried the word of God and was preaching in, in his uh, listen. And then people gave them to to Christ because they would hear his testimony, he would testify, and then he will share. So it's important that you share your testimonies. When you have shown that, God will bless you. Today is a very special day all around the nation, Nigeria. This is, is Father's Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. <laughs> Fathers are usually just so wonderful mm. kind of people. And then you, you may never know what you've got and the kind of blessing that will follow you if only you can 
love and honor your father and your mother. Now, some people are interested in doing only your mother. You know, you know, you know, they know how to celebrate mothers. Yeah. And then, but the fathers will, will be there. You go and bring snap. Can, can let him let him drink and die. And no, please stop stop doing that. Yes, if father needs Kai Kai, uh, you can you may give him, but it's not the right but thing. But you know, I'm advocating for fathers to be going for Omugo as well. Hey, now, hey, hey, now we should, I think we should uh, review the law. <laughs> so that, so that fathers, fathers will join, join mothers to go for Omugo. So that when you buy rapper for mom, you buy you buy clothes for daddy. Uh, that that, that should be, because fathers are usually wonderful people. They, they 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 take all the sacrifices alone. They forget about themselves mm -hmm. and they fend for real fathers. I'm telling you, that our real fathers, not uh, and you know there is there 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 are some people they call um, men in the in the church they call Catholic men organization. Mm -hmm. But are you aware that there are Catholic boys as, uh, association, Catholic Catholic married uh, boys association. <laughs> Anybody who is not a real man, who does not love his family and take care of them, is, is a boy. He's not a man. Marriage is for men. Hmm. When it takes a man who is married and then takes care of the family to be real men. And in any case, if you are married, you have children, you have your home, and you do not belong to CMO, Catholic Men Organization, if you are Catholic, that means you are a married boy. You are not a married man. You are a married boy. So if you are not in CWO, you are you are a married girl. You are not a married woman. It takes where women are in the church is in CWO. Where men are is in CMO. Even if you are 18 years and you you show that responsibility of a family, you get married. Please go and join CMO where three men are. And you know what? There is, there is something people do not know. When you get to join a Catholic man in the church, something happens. You, you begin to network with people. Whatever you are doing, if you're into business, you can network with people who will buy your, your products. You can, if you're into services, you see people too. And then if you need anything in any government offices, you will, all you need to do is to ask who is working in that office. And then if you, if you find from the, uh, the association, you go and meet brother. It, when you get there, you say, uh, Christ is our leader, you know, and then CMO, Christ is our leader, and the person answers you, and at the end of the day, this is what I come to do. And the person takes your matter as your brother, and then helps you in those offices and or in government uh, uh, agencies. There is need for you to join the CMO. If you're a Catholic, there is also need for you to join CWO. Otherwise, you are not a real man. You are only a married boy. May God help us to have good married men and wonderful people. So we are celebrating wonderful uh, married men in our midst. And today, I use the the my CMO president, uh, Chief Ted Akudike, uh, 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 as um, a point of reference to appreciate all the leaders of this um or all the fathers and all the cmo world round thank you very much and god bless you and sorry too they organize spiritual programs too. yes yeah so it, just so that you don't miss that part and think mm -hmm. it's only for networking mm -hmm. please mm -hmm. they organize lots of spiritual programs to exactly. bring people to christ and they help to share burdens of one another please in any case, they give you opportunity and platform to use yes. your three T's. Yes. Your talent, your time, and your treasure to serve God in the house of God. Mm. There are so many, so many benefits. Because at the, uh, at, the la at the last day, God will be judging you based on what uh, opportunity has given you and what you have done with it. So when you join the CMO, you have the opportunity to handle, uh, I mean, serve God with your talent, your treasure, and your time. And then the church can reach you. And they will know you through that and all that. Thank you very much and God bless you. And without wasting time, we're going to go to a uh, recorded testimony of the day. All right, good evening. I hope you had a wonderful week. And I pray you have an even wonderful week ahead. Uh, once again, happy Father's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight, I'll be talking on St. Philip's. 
uh, incidentally, uh, that one I might find the name. Uh, Saint Felix of Valois, from Valois, France. Now he was born on 16th of April, uh, in year 1127, and he died November 4th, 12, 12. So he was around age 85 when he went to meet the Lord. Mm -hmm. So basically, this man was said to have like literally let go of all his possessions, everything he had, so that um, he can so that he can know uh, he can do the work of God and he decided to go to a, a forest in a place called the Diocese of Mo and he prayed and he contemplated. That was basically what he was doing for most of his life. Uh, as time went on there was this guy called Saint John of Mata. This man heard about him and he was like he started looking for him and he found this one and he decided that he wanted to train on that him. And uh, so Felix mentored uh, this guy. And St. John was not like, he now walked up to St. Felix one day, was not like, what do you think about starting an order? An order that was going to basically um, help free captives, Christian captives. Because at this point in time, there were wars, religious wars, and they were called the Crusades. Now, at this time, many Christians were being uh, captured and killed uh, by the Muslims at that moment. And so there were many orders that were being formed so that they can free Christian captives. Uh, I wasn't really sure what ways they were doing it, but a lot of people had left everything they had just to free their fellow brothers and sisters from this inhumane treatment. And St. John was um, talking to Felix about it. So Felix said, no, Allah, let's do it. And he was around 70 years. Felix was around 70 years when he agreed to this. So two of them went to Rome and a, a new pope had been installed. And his, um, his name was um, Pope Innocent III. Now, Pope Innocent was not the type of guy that, you know, he'd be approving something over and over again. He didn't like approving things. He, but when he saw what they were doing, somehow things were smooth for them. They got um, approval from the Bishop of Paris, and they came here. And in less than a year, when Pope Innocent came into, that was around December 17th of the... Um, 1198 this man approved it and he sent a public decree to all churches telling them about this order of trinitarians at that moment in time it was actually called the order of the holy trinity for the redemption of captives but now it's known for the order of the trinitarians because they have uh gone they went beyond you know just the helping people right now they don't really have to do much of that but i know there are many instances where Christians or even not only Christians are captured because of what they believe in. They decided to move into caring for the sick and for the poor. They went into hospitality and then um, building churches and educating uh, young children. So even the king of France, when he heard about it, he received them with so much enthusiasm and I was like, yes, that this is what we need at this moment in time. And many people, even the countess, she literally uh, gave the first land that they used to build their monastery. And many people were donating and donating. And right now, they are in many countries of the world, many monasteries all over the world, and they are still doing the work of God. Now, their major focus now is mostly on you know, the Trinity and its mystery, hence the name Order of the Trinitarians. So uh, this man was privileged to die amongst his brothers in one of these schools. He was canonized by Pope Urban the the fourth on May first, twelve sixty two, and his feast was kept in the um, diocese of Mo as early as twelve fifteen, so like three years after his death. But you know he was canonized sixty two, and eventually this was he was confirmed as his uh, as his saint because we were people were like the issue that he was actually a saint and all of that. And then, in honor of him, there was a, there's a place in France, it's called Quebec. They named a village there after him. It's called Saint Felix de Valois. That's a literal village named after this man because of what he decided to do. 
for the kingdom of God. And I know, like I said, there are many people who, for whatever they believe, you know, what they stand for, that they are, you know, tortured and captured. And I'm certain that it's not God's will that you are in that position. But I know that because he raised people to help this type of people in this situation, that he mm-hmm. also raised mm-hmm. people to help you. And he also raised you to even get to a position to help yourself and other people. Mm-hmm. And so that's St. Uh, Felix. Wow. Wow, and that happens to Felix happened to be my my name. I didn't know. I, I didn't even know about did, about, so about about when, what she. Prepared. You know when she we didn't know what she prepared for you. She just mentioned that uh, Kwesi Natalie is my father's name. So I was going to say Saint. Saint <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, so Felix. Uh, uh, Felix is my my English name. My baptismal name. Uh, the one when my village would they call Felix, yeah. right? Yes. Felix yes. is the real pronunciation because mm. my village would say. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. God bless you. And um Okay. All right. So and one of the things that you have to know is whose captive are you? You know, a lot of things, a lot of things. Who captive are you? Are you God's captive under the leadership of Christ? Are you under the leadership or captivity of sin? Or is he a human being that is using you uh, in the wrong way? Or are you the one that is your own captive? Because you can hold yourself down in so many ways. So think about it. Thank you very much. And he had to use the opportunity and the knowledge he had to save the church, to fight for the freedom of the church. And then uh, at the time he set out to do this, it was just a personal devotion and personal mm-hmm. ministry. It was, and, uh, it was actually, um, he was recruited with mm-hmm. um, Like I said, it was St. John mm-hmm. who had the who God to do this thing. Mm-hmm. God gave him a vision about, you know, he saw Christ mm-hmm. in the vision, he saw captives, and he couldn't be able so he called Felix. Mm-hmm. And uh, he and Felix co-founded this order mm-hmm. uh, together. Good partnership. Yes, and that was... He was the one who came to to France to make it a reality. Saint John went down that way, and today they made it that it's literally in almost every country in the world. That is when when the Lord is giving you a vision, you are better be careful. Don't trivialize it because what God has given you. Sometimes when He gives you a vision, He gives you something that is bigger than you, mm-hmm. bigger than your capacity. Mm-hmm. He just gives you something that. If you use, if you don't have faith, you might yeah. just abandon it and say this one does not belong to me. Keep but but the Lord has a way of uh, uh, giving you resources to meet with the vision that He has released into yeah. your spirit, man. Yeah. So you need to start by faith. But the moment you start by faith, the Lord will make provision. Yeah. You see, then the Saint John started, and all of a sudden he brought a partner who was able to agree with him. Before they know it. The Lord bro- provided the resources through men. The, the Pope had to uh, approve it, even when it was difficult at that point. He had to approve it. When God gives you a mission, He goes ahead of you to work on it. May God give us the grace to. Mm. All right, so we're going to take um, uh, a break, and after that, we'll take go to the next. Wow, wow, wow! That's that song is dedicated to. <laughs> Fathers, dear friends, I want you to do something. If you have a father, you are. if your father is still alive, you are lucky. If your father is still alive, you are lucky. If you can't reach him, please call him on the phone. Just tell him, Daddy, I know what you passed through because of me. I love you. It is such a wonderful thing to have a father. Father is the, one of the most beautiful gifts of God on earth. One of the most beautiful gifts you can get. And no wonder the Bible says, or obey your father and your mother so that your days might be long. Please call your father tonight. In fact, throughout this week, call your father. And if you have anything, please send to your father. Send to your mother as well. You can actually say, even if it's 5,000, 2,000, 10,000, you know, whatever, you can buy clothes and send to your father. Tell him, I, I know you may not be there, you may not be perfect, but Lord, Father, I love you the way you are. I, I know 
the sacrifices you, 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 you've made for me and for my life. I remember, I remember some time ago, my, my wife was telling me a story and then she was crying and I missed the story. She was telling me how as sometimes things were very difficult and all of that. And then my father-in-law had to locate her in school. He had to make a, um, they got a locker, made it, and there wasn't money. He had to carry the locker on his head, coming a long way to that school. My wife was telling me this story and she was shedding tears. The, the love of the father. There was no transport money. The man had to carry it and walk very long distance just to make sure that that happened. Their friends, fathers are wonderful. Fathers, uh, uh, um, you know, drop their own personal uh, whatever for the sacrifice of what the family. It is important that you get to know this. Mothers, if you're a wife, if you're a lady, you're a married woman, please appreciate your husband. Tell him it's not about uh, um, money, money, and the things that is that is not available in the house, what you do not have. Please, what quality has, got, uh, has your husband? Please go and appreciate him for that quality. That thing he has been doing or he has done in the past, maybe he's not able to do it now, but he has done it in the past. Tell him, I love you, and I appreciate that you have done this in the past. And then that man is going to be strong. Tomorrow he will wake up a happier man, and he will step out in faith. It is wonderful to have fathers. And you know what? Fathers carry blessings. That is why Abraham uh, had to bless the son, Isaac. Then Isaac blessed the sons. When it is the time, he said, go and make me venison. Kill an animal. Prepare something and give me so that I will eat and enjoy so that my spirit will be happy and then I will bless you. So dear friends, if Make a venison for your father. Make something special for him. Send him something. Buy him something. Give him a gift. Tell him, I love you. And then if you finish, kneel down and let your father bless you. Thank you. Thank you. This evening we have in our midst our brother, Theophilus Ame. Evangelizer Theophilus Ame is a very dynamic Catholic lay preacher who has traveled the length and breadth of the country, Nigeria, preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ with sign, great signs, wonders, and miracles following. He's a student of Peace and Conflict Resolution, National Open University of Nigeria, Abuja, a great husband and father, married to a beautiful and godly woman by name, Blessing, and they are blessed with beautiful children. He is a member of the Light of the World community, Kali Charismatic Renewal, of Our Lady Queen of Nigeria Pro Cathedral, Area 3, Abuja. My brother, you're most welcome to the studio. Good evening, and thank you for having me. Yes, this evening you will be sharing with us some testimonies. When I say some testimonies, there are too many testimonies of what God has been doing around the nation. But tonight he will be sharing with us three. One is miraculous deliverance from fibroid. Number two is healed of broken bones. And number three, deliverance from madness. Then we're going to be sharing this, and, and then as soon we shall open the lines for you to also talk to us. Man of God, you're welcome. Thank you, listeners, and uh, the power of God will be moving through the airways. Amen. Amen. Anywhere you are, just position yourself because something very strange is about to happen to you as you listen to testimony. God does not do things based on people's size. Mm -hmm. He does things based on his own size. Yeah, because size. his size is too adibacious. Mm. <laughs> um, it was a few weeks ago that um, a woman brought the wife of the younger brother who had issue of fibro. Mm. They were married for four good years. There was no issue. Mm. So when they came and narrated their ordeal, we joined faith with them. Mm. And when the power of God came, fibro shifted mm. and baby entered. Mm. It can only be God. Mm. Because 
the fibroid was multiple fibroid, not just one, not just two, but it was multiple. So the fibroid when God shifted, came, yes. It's not like the they operated it, even while it was still there. No, she was not operated upon. The fibroid shrinked. Mm -hmm. Baby yeah. enters because medically, yeah. she was told that there was nothing yeah. they could do for her mm -hmm. to conceive. But and the truth is that we have medical science and we have homini science. <laughs> Anytime <laughs> homini science stepped in, mm -hmm. story changes. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that her story changes. And today, she is smiling because God came. Mm. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You see, it, that, that reminds me of a, of a particular story um, uh, that happened some time ago. A young lady uh, was in Abuja here. You know, it was during Jubilee. I, I spoke to the Agastan youth, and then she was in that meeting. And after that, we met, and we got talking. First miracle of her job second miracle of marriage and all that but something happened after this young woman had traveled abroad a lot of uh, miracles uh, story as, as she started praying and then she traveled abroad and then about two years after the elder sister who is the reverend sister uh, who lived here you know, was like um uh, looked located me and was like See, my sister has been married. They said, but she was such a wonderful child of God, and then her life, you know, challenged her as a real sister. Now, but now that she's been married, two years living with the husband, no fruit of the womb, now whatever, whatever, whatever. I said, well, just tell her to call me, and then my sister, maybe we can also enter into prayer. And then we entered into the prayers and fasting. We we'll go to let us commit and conclude that fast and all that and pray with uh, uh, some brethren. You know, you know, we ran that for like a few days. That the lady and the husband was she joined. And on the day she called me, she was like, hey, but I said, please just follow the prayer and then we'll give it and we'll talk again. So after the prayer, three weeks later, she called me and said, Brother Nandi, you know what happened? I said, no. They said that she's pregnant. I said, don't tell anybody, just hold on. Wait after two weeks, go and confirm again. After two weeks, she confirmed. I said, go and confirm again. After two weeks, it's okay. And that was a, a fibroid. They said, they, they, she said, what I wanted to tell you that day is that I should not tell you anything again. Is they had booked her for surgery. They said she'd been to about three specialist hospital in London, and they said that she would not take in. That's with that kind of fibroid. So, but miraculously, that that, that fibroid had not been removed. They had to shift the operation fix for her after that prayer. Thing. Now, now she became pregnant. You know what? She delivered that baby, the baby boy. After a while, she took in again. Yeah. I took in again. She took in again. She yeah. has four boys, yeah. as I'm talking to you, and no fibroid was removed. Yeah. Now, the fibroid had to begin to die on yeah. his own and, and disappear and the children were coming. Now to see that there is nothing the Eucharistic Jesus cannot do. Thank you very much for that. And then there, can you share the testimony of uh, how someone was killed of broken bones? Yeah, it happened at Nasrawa Polytechnic precisely, mm -hmm. Federal Polytechnic Nasrawa. Mm -hmm. um, I was there for a three days crusade. The first day the second day, I made an announcement for people to bring their loved ones, bring the critical, deaf and dumb, all manners. And two ladies hacking to the announcement that was made, and they went to the hospital to pick their friend that was involved in an accident, whose leg was broken, the lap was broken. and. They fixed iron inside the leg, mm -hmm. and the leg was hung in the hospital for more than six months. Mm -hmm. When they came and told the doctor that uh, they wanted uh, to take their friend to the church for prayer, and the doctor said no, that they cannot shift the leg. Mm -hmm. Any touching on the leg and the, uh, the iron in the leg can shift, and that will lead to amputating the, the leg completely. Mm -hmm. 
and um, they insisted, and the doctor said, if they insisted, then they have to sign undertaking. Mm. The doctor went to the office to pick the undertaking letter for these two girls, to two ladies to sign the undertaking. And from here, they stole their friend out of the hospital. <laughs> yes. And they brought her to the crusade ground, unknown to any of us mm. that there was such a case. Mm. So I pick up the microphone. While walking to the pulpit, I heard God audibly say to me, somebody you are in this meeting and you have a moving object inside of you and it was a cockroach for the first time we 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 tagged a prayer there was a prayer we pray we tagged ghana must go that yes. is no matter how long the situation had lasted mm. there is a force from above that can move it away so after preaching we turned people into prayer, and lo and behold, God came down in a very special way in that meeting. Mm. The woman with that moving object, snake fell off the woman's body physically. The lady, the lady that was brought from the hospital with a broken lapse. Mm. When I said, if you know anywhere you are hot in your body, place your hand, whatever that is happening to you. God is about to hear you right now. Short prayer was offered. And I said, whatever you couldn't do before now, begin to do it. The lady with the broken leg, with eye on inside, bent the leg, the leg bent. The two friends that brought her fell on the floor and they were rolling, screaming on the floor. I couldn't understand what was happening and I signaled the steward to control them. They helped them. And... The lady with the broken leg was running from one end to another end. Jesus. And the only thing we saw was POP yeah. on, the leg. on the leg. That was what gave us that mm. notion that something great had happened. Mm. And we gave them the opportunity to share the testimony of what happened that day. One of the friends picked up the microphone. TS couldn't allow her to talk. Mm. She summarized by saying, we stole our friend with a blo broken leg, <laughs> with eye on inside the leg, even though the doctor refused them mm. from taking okay. the, the lady out of the mm. hospital. Mm. And when God servant said, do what you yeah. couldn't do, when the our friend bent her leg, it was like a dream to mm -hmm. them. Mm. I called the lady. We began to tore the POP from the leg. Mm. And we were pressing the leg to see if the iron was there. We couldn't find any iron. It was too shocking. Yeah. Yeah. It was beyond human understanding and interpretation. Yes. Those ladies were like those friends. I questioned them again. <laughs> Do you mean there was iron yes. inside the leg when you brought her? And I said, yes. But if I doubt what they were saying, they can pass a call across to the doctor. the doctor. Let the doctor talk to us on the phone. And it was already late in the morning already. Mm -hmm. All through the night we have been awake and we didn't have to return back to Abuja. Mm -hmm. That was how mm -hmm. the miracle worker yeah. did the miracle. Very, very shocking. Yeah. If only we can depend on God, mm -hmm. He's able to do beyond our imagination. Mm -hmm. But somehow people don't solely on God. They, this don't, time around. they don't know that Jesus is the same yesterday. Yes. Today, today. And he will be like that forever. forever. They, they don't know that our God keeps doing awesome and marvelous things. Yeah, what he did in the past, he can do again and again. Yes. And this time around, he's ready to do greater works yeah. than yes. he did in the past. Exactly. That's the God reserve. Exactly. Yeah, friends, we're going to op we're opening the phone line now. 081 Zero eight four four seven five one eight zero eight one zero eight four four seven five one eight. You can call in, share your experiences, and then also talk to us if you are if you are inspired. If you see what the Lord is doing, we'll take calls from you. May God bless you as you do so. Or even if you have like a prayer request, you need us to pray with you. We can do that right away. Just to also let you know that towards the end of this program, the brother, the man of God that is on this, in the studio, will have opportunity of praying for everyone. 
Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Good evening. My name is Becky. Okay, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Oklahoma. Okay, let's hear your take. Please, I want to find out what to say to Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Is this me? Because I always have my and I always see my bed close to the river. I always see my bed in my tree. So I don't just understand. That initiation is arrested right now. Amen. In the name that is above every name. Distance is never ever real. And because we serve a God whose presence is everywhere, as we speak now, I decree under this pollination anointing, power can travel from here right now. And I decree right now that agenda from hell is arrested over your life. Amen. The handwriting of the devil is terminated right now. Amen. I declare you free from that agenda from hell. Amen. And the last time you had that encounter shall be the last time Amen. forever. Amen. Divine visitation this night. You are free. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hello, good evening. Your name and where are you calling from? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Moses. I'm calling from the Okay, I'm going to help you. Go straight to the point. Thank you. Uh, I want to pray for me. He's not a pastor. He's an evangelist, a brother in the Catholic faith. And then in the Catholic Church, we have Reverend Fathers as the pastor of a church. Yes. And Brothers we have lay brothers. preachers. Oh, uh, he's a member of Charismatic Renewal. He's a, a lay preacher. So we call them. Okay, he went to School of Evangelization. So he is an evangelizer, um, Catholic evangelizer. Brother Matthew, I mean, but he would be praying for you today. Okay, so just say it. He's listening. What are you trusting God for? Okay. Okay, okay. I declare it turn around. Amen. Amen. Speed it turn around. Amen. Amen. According to his word, lion may go hungry, but his children will lack nothing. Amen. A decree by the mandate of heaven, beginning from this day ends forth. It turn around on every side. Amen. In your business, in your career, in whatsoever you do, I decree it turn around on every side. Amen. This day, shall be a memorial for you Amen. in jesus mighty name Amen. all right thank you so we're, we're going to take the hello good evening what's your name and where are you calling from hello good evening please turn down the volume of your set good evening what's your name and where are you calling from okay. okay what's your name Okay. Place your hand, place your hand where you are hot. Stroke. Is it the two hands? Place the good hand on, your the, affected part. on the affected part. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your word of Matthew 15, 13, every tree that is not planted by you shall be uprooted. O thou arrows of stroke, wherever you came from, hear you the word of the Lord right now. In the name that is above every name, I retrieve you right now. And I fire you back to hell a thousand times. Amen. From the crown of your head to the sole of thy feet, I declare you free from that stroke. Amen. Everything you couldn't do before now, I decree by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, begin to do them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.
So we'll take the te next testimony, which is deliverance from madness. Yes. Yeah, it was two months ago. That was April precisely. I was preaching in a crusade that uh, massacre is above of Masrawa State. And uh, God gave me a prophetic word that somebody present in that meeting had a relation that was mad. And I told the person to come out. The person came out. A woman came out. A young lady came out. And she said, one of their brother was in chain. And I used her as a point of contact to reach out to the brother who was in chain. Crusade finished some minutes to 10 p.m. 11 p.m. or some minutes to 11 p.m. That same evening, the brother at Benway State came back to consciousness. Regained his sanity. Insanity without and began being to, without being present the in the meeting. Mm. Mm. It was the sister that was present in the mm. crusade. Mm. And the young man began to call the mother and question the mother, who put me in change? Mm. The sister picked up her phone and said, Call one of the, the, the organizer of the crusade. Mm. I said, I want to talk to the man of God that just prayed for us from the crusade. Mm. What happened? And she narrated, they now tested my number to her. She called me. I was still on my way home. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was still on the way to the house. Mm -hmm. I said, Okay, give me some minutes since I'm driving and it was at night. I wouldn't want to be asking for why driving at night. I arrived home, called back, and she said, Just now, the mother just called her. That the younger brother that was insane just called her attention that who put, him put him me in this chain hmm. and oh asked them to remove the chain mm -hmm. and began to weep because mm -hmm. of the bruises. Mm -hmm. That was the end of insanity till mm -hmm. Jesus Christ comes. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. So, dear Lister, you still uh, we still have a bit of time to take your calls. You may call in. So, um, there's some hello, good evening. Your name and where are you calling from? Okay, yeah, there, there was a particular. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, where are you calling from? Okay, let's hear what you're trusting the Lord for. Okay, the Lord opened the door for you. Amen. Isaiah 22, 22, he opened a door no one can close. Amen. I decree every door of failure. Today, that door is shut right now. Amen. And doors of success, doors of testimonies, doors of congratulations are open for you right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every trace of failure from your lineage, you hearing the sound of our voice, you are exempted. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hello, good evening. Your name and where are you calling from and what are you trusting the Lord for? Okay, what are you trusting the Lord for? Place your hand. Place your hand on your lower abdomen. And your stomach. We decree by the anointing of the Holy Ghost every link with any spirit husband. Today, Genesis 3:15, there is a enmity between you and that unclean spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I cause enmity between you and that unclean spirit. And I decree your womb is a fertile ground. Beginning from this day, you shall conceive. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By this time next year, June 2024, men and women shall begin to congratulate you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. So, 
Hello, good evening. Your name, where are you calling from and what are you trusting the Lord for? Good evening. My name is Maya. I'm not trusting the Lord for. All right. What are you trusting the Lord for? I want to trust the Lord for. I That attack on your marriage is arrested. Amen. Every wasters delegated against you, angels shall release against that spirit of wastage. Amen. The last time you had that miscarriage shall be the last Amen. time forever. Amen. You will conceive and you will carry your children. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we declare you free from that misfortune. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord bless you. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Hello. Good evening. Your name, where you calling from, and what are you trusting the Lord for? My name is David. All right. What are you trusting the Lord for? Okay, for the past five years. Mad. Okay. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. You see. The same way death could not help Jesus captive. In the same order, we decree the power of God hit him wherever he is right now. And whomever sent that arrow against your brother tonight with joint faith and joint voice. With you right now, and we retrieve that arrow. We fire it back to the sender a thousand times. And we decree your brother is free right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is well with your brother. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. If he's close to you, or you can reach him right now, tell him if there is a holy water around him. Whomever that is with him should wash, should wash his head with that holy water. The holy water is the one that is blessed by a Catholic priest. That is the holy water. If you don't have it, if there, if there is no none, you can meet the parish priest around the Catholic church around there and ask the big water father to bless the holy water for you so they can use it. But you, there must be testimonies. All right. Hello, good evening. Your name, where are you calling from? And what are you trusting the Lord for? Hello? 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 Hello, good evening. What's your name? What's your name and where are you calling from? And what are you trusting the Lord for? I'm calling from Tanya. Okay. Okay. Okay, what are you trusting the Lord for? We decree restoration upon him right now. In the name that is above every name. Yes. The father yes. will not eat sour Amen. grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. Amen. I decree by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that agenda from hell is terminated. And I decree restoration of his health. Amen. Restoration of his thinking faculty. Amen. The hand of God come upon him wherever he is right now. And that agenda from hell that link, that bond, that satanic trouble from the lineage, he is cut off from them right now. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, he is free. Amen. Thank you, Father, because it is done. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yeah, and dear listeners, we're, we're sorry, that's the much we can say for calls today, but of course, you know, we'll always follow up. So whatever it is you're trusting the Lord for, send your name and your phone number and the request to this particular phone number that you are calling, and we will definitely get back to you. 
through the man of God. I don't know this last caller can also send the because yes, yeah. it's ancestral, I'm sure you need to know all. exactly. So, whatever you're trusting the Lord for, send your name, your phone number, and that request to this phone number 08108447518. We will do a proper follow up. And thank you so much for your call in and participation today. Thank you, dear brothers and sisters. Um, and because of time, we shall be rounding off now. But and before don't worry, we do that, still come back, right? yes, no, no, because he, there are so many testimonies. No, we have so many testimonies, so we're yeah. going to rebook him to mm -hmm. get back. And then, um, uh, just to remind you that Radio Maria uh, is registered under NGO, as such, does not run on profits. And it, it, it now uh, it's important that we understand this part. And then, Radio Maria requires that you and I contribute to keep it. Uh, working on air, it costs uh, nothing less than 65 million to keep it running every year. Therefore, we encourage those, those that can make donation a, a, a large amount of money, 1 million, 10 million, 5 million, or even 65 million. You can keep the uh, uh, radio running for one year. Well, you can have here, you, may, you can even divide it into four, one quarter of the year. Uh, you know, three months you can uh, you can fit the bill, and believe me, what God will do in your life, you will never uh, understand. Yeah, yeah, but then, I, I but any other person can contribute mm -hmm. as little as 500 naira a month. You can support the Radio Maria. So, if you want to uh, do that contribution, you can even give a standing order in your bank every month, they'll just take 500 or 1000 and send to. That is not, or 5,000, as the case may be. Or, you know, you might even decide to say, okay, uh, let me be sending uh, my tithe or something. Or it, it is just the same thing to preach the gospel. You are sending to the house of God. So if you want to do that, please send us a, um, a message, and then we're going to get back to you with all the uh, um, details. details, bank details. So having said that, our Radio Maria Director, Reverend Father Chine John Oloma, uh, will take you and your intention to his altar and continue to pray for you day in, day out, even as the station is running. May God bless you, man of God. Thank you for coming to uh, Testimony Time. And then please be sure that you're coming back because we would not scratch the surface. We we'll still have at least a um, uh, two sections to work with you on this in this season. So please make out your time to be with us again. Having said that, signing out this evening, my name is Brother Nandi Obiechina and my name is Christopher Obiechina and Eswana Jane Abodoya and Brother Theophilus Amen. We are Catholic, we are apostolic. Thanks to the studio manager. Kenichi Chidera and Guadalupe.